What in your um, your background, maybe like your dance or, or just athletic background, do you think influences your pole or how do you bring that in? So I was a go-go dancer before I decided to do pole. Um, I wanted some way to stand out from other go-go dancers, so that's what brought me to pole. Well, that's awesome. And do you ever bring that go-go background into your teaching? Of course. <laughs> how do you do that? <laughs> um, uh, so it influences my style, like I like to be more sexy, sensual, performative for an audience rather than like contemporary one. When you think about teaching, especially like someone that's very new to pole, what's the one thing you want them to like take away from that experience? To have fun, that it's about just bringing your energy, it's not about looking one specific type of way, it's more just having fun, exploring your body. So I always make sure that my students feel comfortable to explore. Do you have any instances where ah, you got through that person? Oh, definitely. All the time you'll see when like people open up or feel more comfortable to just be themselves. And then my students aren't meant to look like me dancing, they're meant to look like them. Mm -hmm. So I just give them the tools to explore and become the best possible dancer that they can become. Is there like a phrase, a go-to golden, you know, golden bullet kind of thing? I would say to not worry about getting everything perfectly, but just keep trying, keep moving. Like perfection is not the goal. Good energy and being in your body related to music, like that's the real goal. That's awesome.